Hi guys. So I've had a lot of questions and requests for how to make additional Facebook cover photos, Twitter headers, how to complete your social profiles with images that you like. So this is the shared Google Drive. You can see right here it says the ROG Agent Social Media Resource Library and I clicked on Content Library and it brings me here. There's a new folder called Templates. You're going to open the Google Drive doc right here and there will be more coming, but let's say you have a new listing, for example, and you want to show off a couple pictures of the listing, put your name, your headshot. We now have a collage that you can use. So here's exactly how this works. These are all templates that we've made for you. So what you want to do is click on a template, first of all, to see what it looks like and see if you want to use it. So right here, here's a pretty cool looking template for how to show off a couple pictures of a listing. So if this suits you, you're going to click Use This Template. Okay, so where this opens is in something called Google Drawings. What you want to know is you can edit this, and I'll show you how, and it will never affect the template. So if someone else wants to use the template, it will always be hosted in the same place. It's a special Google Templates listing. So now that you've decided to open the one that you want, Here's a couple of easy ways you can edit. Let's say right here where the circle is, you want to find a picture of your headshot. So go to the place where you store your images. Okay, I found a headshot. Now obviously it's a little bit big, so what you want to do is either right click and hit crop right here, or right here it says you can crop, so I can make it shorter. Then I can Make it shorter this way too. So it may not fit perfectly as a circle, but it looks pretty good as a headshot. Now, you, like I said, you can edit. This itself is just see it's one unit. So you want to leave that where it is. So what you want to do is upload images of your house and then just size them to fit appropriately. So I'm going to get some images of a house. Okay, so I'm uploading the image of the house that I want to use. Let it load. Okay. I'm just going to size it into the box. If you want your image to stick out over the house, you can. You can right click and play with the order. You can rearrange things, so bring to front. So I happen to really like the way this looks. I think it looks really sharp. Now you can also add text. So here's a little text box. I want to write my name. So I'm writing it and I can't see it. What's happening? Select it. Aha, there it is. Change the color. So I want to do a custom color, and this will be given to you, but I know that's the exact Realty One Group color, so it matches everything else. I'm just going to kind of play around with the placement. Perfect. I like that. Okay. So now I want to add my cell phone number. So I'm just going to line up the text box, enter my cell phone number. You can also play around with the size if you think maybe that's a little bit too big. So select the size, change it. Perfect. So you can just duplicate this by pressing on your keyboard. You just highlight it like it's blue. You can do Control D or Control C, then Control V. I want the exact same size font for the office number. Another cool feature is if you watch, you can see the red line appear. It kind of helps you keep everything in line. Okay, so now I have the pictures of my houses in there and a headshot. Last thing I want to do, again, I'm just going to duplicate this to make it nice and easy for myself. I'm going to write a description of the property. Maybe I'll list the number of beds, the number of baths, and I'll say something about the location and whatever else you think will sell it. So once you're done, you've kind of finagled and rearranged things to make it look the way you want. You hit File, it's right here, Download As, and I'm always going to recommend that you download it as a JPEG or a PNG file. These two are good for internet purposes. What does that mean? That means you can email it, you can put it on Facebook, social media, Twitter, you might be able to do it on Instagram, although Instagram does have some sizing limitations. Now, if you want to print something like this, then I'd recommend saving it as a PDF. And if you're ever unsure, save it as both. Save it as a PDF, and either JPEG or PNG, it really doesn't matter. So pick your option, 
and it will automatically save right to your either downloads folder or your desktop, whatever you have mapped for your pictures to typically save, that's where it goes. Now, if I want to put this on social media, here's how it would look. Okay, so I'm on Facebook. Gives you the option to upload a photo or a video right here. I'm picking the image that I just made. You can say anything about it that you want and hit post. Check it out. So this is the thing that I just made. I used the template, I edited it with some minor information and it looks professional, it looks fantastic. Some other requests we got were for some Twitter templates. So I'm just gonna pick a template and if you like the way it looks, again, do the same thing. Hit use this template, it opens up in Google Drawings. That's where you can edit it to add your phone number, name, pertinent information, just like we did before. So I would add a text box, for example, with my cell phone number, the name, the address is there, all the icons are there, everything's taken care of for you. Okay, so once you're on Twitter, click over to your profile, hit edit profile, change your header picture. So make sure you've saved it already. Download as PNG. So that when you hit upload, it's right here. And it's sized, it fits really well. You can hit apply and that will make the changes save. So again, make sure you come here. No need to copy or type or change anything that you see. All you need to do is click on any of the links to see what the template looks like. Download or click use this template if you like it. Make your minor changes and save it anywhere you need to save it. If you use the Google Drive to save your documents, great. If not, save it wherever it makes the most sense for you. And you can expect in the next coming weeks and months that there's gonna be lots more templates for you to use.